Hi, I'll tell you a little bit about my uh, robotic Trimaloa project here. If you just want to see it play, you can skip further ahead into the video, or if you want to know more details, you can follow the link to my website uh, in the information down below. So the instrument itself I found in a dumpster um, by my neighborhood and looked it up and it was a Hawaiian type instrument popular in the 1950s as Hawaiian music was on the rise. It's got basically two parts. Uh, one hand would have strummed the chords over here and there was four fixed chords. And then on this side of the instrument, uh, you plucked a single string with this kind of thumb pick here and it had a connected bar to it with a roller that sat on the string uh, and this flexible piece of metal. So that would give it kind of that classic wobbly uh, Hawaiian sound to the music as well as um, sliding between the notes. So uh, realizing this thing was an antique, I decided uh, I wanted to give it a second life and didn't want to harm it at all. So to automate it, I knew one of my goals was to make sure I didn't drill or mount anything on there. So this instrument is just sitting in a case uh, with the electronics uh, surrounding it. Uh, the case itself is just made out of stock aluminum from Home Depot, um, sawed down and held together with some bolts. The uh, plucking mechanism here is a linear rail powered by a NEMA 17 stepper motor. It was marketed on uh, Amazon as like a photo rig for cameras. The limiter switch over here I added so it can home itself and know its position before it starts any kind of operation. The way that it knows where the plucking mechanism is, if it's at the right place for the note, is um, this little acrylic rail down here that I uh, sanded some grooves out of. And there's a second limiter switch here that as this moves, uh, will fall into those positions, letting it know that it's at the correct note. The plucking mechanism itself is uh, one of my favorite parts. To get that nice kind of swoop to the finger at the end, I looked at a whole lot of ideas. Finally found one video uh, that I again will link in the description down below showing a um, setup similar to this one that seemed to be kind of a plucking motion. Uh, as the NEMA 11, this tiny NEMA 11 motor rotates, um, it'll give a real nice um, motion to that. And then right here on the back side is a, a tiny limiter switch that the set screw actually hits every time this makes a full rotation uh, so that it ensures it doesn't skip any steps and always gets back to the, the proper spot it was supposed to be. Over here on the uh, cord side of things, the setup that I used is um, some five volt solenoids that have bars epoxied onto the end of the plunger so it hits uh, all the notes that are supposed to be in that cord. Uh, those are set in here with some set screws on the front, uh, connected to a circuit board that uh, has them in parallel with a 5 volt power supply. And then there's a relay module back here, uh, also 5 volt. Um, these big guys on the back are the two stepper motors for, uh, or the controllers for both of the stepper motors. Uh, and what we can't see on the underside of this board is an Arduino Nano. That's the brains of the whole operation. The uh, stepper motor controllers need a nine volt minimum input. So this whole thing takes 12 volts. And then on the bottom side, there's a voltage converter that uh, is in parallel with that input uh, to create a five volt source for the uh, relays and the solenoids. There's a burnout with 12 volts. Uh, the Arduino Nano itself is actually powered uh, via USB because the whole operation is controlled through the serial monitor uh, and the program. If you want to see that code, uh, make sure you go to my website and check it out. All right, here's a song for you called Hawaiian Waltz.